Alright, uh, this compressor was grounded, so I just wanted to cut it open to see what where it grounded at and what caused it to ground out. So this is uh, a little thermal disc. Whenever the temperature uh, gets uh, too high, it'll pop up and it'll let a uh, discharge gas go down uh, over the overload to shut it off. Kind of similar with this. Uh, that's uh, pressure. When the pressure gets too high, it'll open up and it'll shoot uh, hot gas over the down into the suction into the so the overload will trip. This is connected to here, so this is where the hot gas will go. All right. This is um, your floating disc, floating seal, sorry. There's a little hole right there to the right. And it'll, as pressure rises, it'll push this up and make a seal around this ring right here. This is the... Uh, the high side of the system starts on the inside of this dome. It's kind of like two pieces pushed together. And there's your, there's a little, uh, kind of like a check valve in here. So refrigerant can't go back in. Here's the orbiting scroll. It moves like that in that motion. This will kind of keep it in that motion. I'm not sure what this is called. But anyways, it's a little bushing. I don't know if you can tell, but See if I can get my other flashlight. If I can get some focus. Looks like it grounded out on the rotor. From the looks of it. Anyways, check out all this copper plating. inside let me see if I can get some of that on my finger this isn't supposed to be copper that's all copper plating Down there in that sleeve bearing. If I can wipe some of this oil off. You can see all that copper. Basically, acid will eat away at the copper inside the system and it'll deposit itself onto the. Uh, onto like a lot of the bearings and moving parts mostly the bearings Frozen. Oh, there we go. 
comes. Yep. Grounded out D2 copper plating. I'd like to see if I can take this off and see that sleeve bearing. But anyways, make sure you pull a proper vacuum to keep uh, moisture out of the system. that I've been seeing when cutting these open is the rudder being stuck either due to copper plating or lack of oil either because there's not enough oil in the system flood back or high very high discharge temperatures breaking down the oil and not being able to lubricate the bearings you can actually see some copper plating on the scroll I don't know how well that shows up, but there's copper plating all over it. Here's pretty much all the parts inside a scroll compressor. This is that, that little thermal disc TOD. It goes right here where that little notch is at. And it'll come out right here. Whenever it opens. Um, here's the floating seal. Check out all that copper. Basically, you see that little hole right there? As the compressor starts, it'll build up pressure and this will slide up. And it'll come in contact with this right here to create a seal. Top scroll, stationary scroll, and moving scroll. I think it's called the cyclone converter. That's what I've heard it called before, but I'm not sure if that's what its real name is. Gasket. I didn't know that. Yeah, it looks like a little gasket one in there. Burnouts are pretty nasty. It's like, this is another oil passageway. Uh, these are for the bolts to hold down the top scroll. That right there. Is this hole right there? 
some just for oil to go back down into the sink. I really wish I could take this uh, the rotor and show you the other end of this shaft. There's kind of like a centrifugal oil pump that will, as it's spinning, it'll pick up oil from the sump and it'll uh, go up through this hole and lubricate your uh, bearings and the bushing and the bottom of the scroll. That's why on a three phase scroll, if it runs backwards, one of the issues is that it won't pick up enough oil to lubricate your bearings it also won't pump but the main issue is uh it not being able to lubricate the bearings when it's running backwards